All right, so thank you all for joining us tonight for the Wedgwood and South Hills Water and Sewer Improvements Community Design Meeting. Um, during today's agenda, we'll be covering introductions of those involved with the project, going through an overview of what the project entails and the areas being affected, as well as answer some frequently asked questions that we have when we go to construction and going through a timeline of the project. So your project team includes myself, Brenda Oropesa. My phone number is 817-392. 8271 and my email address is Brenda period Oropeza O R O P E Z A at Fourth Ward, Texas, all spelled out dot gov. And I am the project manager for this project. And our engineering design consultant is Daltech. And I believe they are on the call as well. Okay, so why are we doing this project? So Fourth Ward does prioritize replacing water and sewer lines that have a high risk of failure. Um, risk of failure is determined on a variety of criteria, including the water main break history, leak history, flow circuit TV inspection, age of the line, lead services that are on that line, or if that, um, Line material is cast iron or um, vetrified clay, things like that. So this area was identified um, to have cast iron lines and that's why we're doing this project. Um, the project will replace cast iron water lines on Warden Drive, Vega Drive, Wilkie Way, Wayland Drive, Wren Avenue, Denbury Drive, and Calusa Drive. Um, there are some sewer lines that are also being replaced and those date back to the 1950s and 60s and we'll be going through those areas as well. Um, the capital improvement, project, capital improvement project is predominantly residential, but construction may impact Little People Park at Walton and Calusa Drive, West Creek Elementary School at West Creek Drive and Walton Avenue and Harmony Science Academy. Um, of Fort Worth at Odessa Avenue and Walton Avenue. So what are the boundaries of the city's project? So for this project, we will be replacing the water and sanitary sewer mains in eight streets and five easements in an area that is bound by, so south of Southwest Loop 820, west of Odessa Avenue, north of Wolke Way and Denbury Drive, and east of Vega Drive. Um, the project area itself, we have Wharton Drive from Vega Drive to Calusa Drive. In that area, we will be replacing the water and sewer. Wren Avenue from Vega Drive to West Creek Drive, we will be replacing the water and sewer. Wayland Drive from Vega Drive to Calusa Drive, we will be doing the water and sewer. Wilkie Way from Vega Drive to Wayland Drive, we will be replacing the water and sewer. Vega Drive from Wharton Drive to Wilkie Way, we will be replacing the water and sewer. Calusa Drive from Walton Avenue to Wayland Drive, we will be replacing the water and sewer. Denbury Drive from Calusa Drive to West Creek Drive will be a water and sewer replacement. Morley Avenue from Wren Avenue to 150 feet south That'll be a sewer replacement, it's a small segment. Um, the easement between Wharton Drive and Wren Avenue from 392 feet west of Calusa Drive to 725 feet east of Calusa Drive will be a sewer replacement. An easement between Morley Avenue and Calusa Drive from 170 feet south of Morley Avenue and Wharton Drive intersection to 415 feet south will be a sewer replacement an easement between Wren Avenue and Walton Avenue from 295 feet west of Calusa Drive to Morley Avenue will be a sewer replacement. An easement from Odessa Avenue and West Creek Drive from Walton Avenue to 210 feet south of Walsley Drive will be a sewer replacement. Um, the easement south of South Gate Drive and Walton Avenue from West Creek Drive to 180 feet east will be um, a sewer replacement. Oh, I think I went backwards. 
months. Um, and you can kind of see that on that first map we included, which kind of shows all the areas affected, um, which includes the easements, which can be seen in the back of the homes. In those areas. So this capital improvement project is in council district nine. Construction will impact the Wedgwood East Neighborhood Association and the South Hill South neighborhood. So will water be turned off? Water will be turned off for about 15 to 30 minutes when services are transferred from the existing water line to the temporary water line. And when the services are transferred from that temporary water line to the new water line. And those um, transitions occur during the day. The contractor will knock on your door and let you know when the water will be turned off and there will also be door hangers 24 hours before this occurs. Um, the transfer typically takes 30 minutes per home. So how does a temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continuously flowing through the temporary line to keep the water from freezing. So we do encourage customers um, to keep their faucet stripping during the winter. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary water line is based on an average of the previous month's usage. Will you need access to our property during construction? Construction will be mostly in the streets and easements. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will be contacting you. If an easement is needed for your property, a land agent should have reached out, but this um, particular project already had existing easements. So there were no easements necessary. Um, will sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. While we're installing the sewer lines, the new sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property or easement line. And the sewer cleanouts provide crews an easy access if a backup or blockage occurs and kind of helps us determine if that blockage is on the private or the public side as well. Will I have access to my driveway during construction? The inspector and the contractor will work with you um, if they need access, if they're gonna be interrupting your access during active construction hours. How are you going to coordinate traffic during construction? So we will have a traffic control plan in place before the contractor starts work. Um, right now we're still in the design phase, so we don't have a contractor on board, but once we have our public construction meeting, we will have more information about um, the actual traffic flow. Will the city's trash truck pick up my trash and recycling? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will move your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so that the trash collection vehicle can still pick those up. Will there be lane closures during construction? So yes, there will be lane closures um, when we're installing our utilities and signs will be posted to alert motors. What are the construction hours? So the hours of construction are Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. So timeline. So this project is still in the design phase. Um, we anticipate advertising in late October, and that will put us in construction um, the start of next year. Um, we will have more information once we actually have a contractor on board um, and are under contract with the contractor as to when they will be starting. Um, we will be hosting a pre-construction meeting with the contractor to set a start date for construction and create a schedule for the streets that will be impacted and in what order. So we will have more information during that um, construction meeting. We will see. So we, that meeting will be held before we start construction. So where can I get more information? 
So we do have a city website. Um, you can go to www.fourthwardtexas, all spelled out, .gov, and type in the project number 103619 in the search bar on the upper right-hand corner of the web page. Um, once you type 103619 and click the little um, search icon, the name Wedgwood and South Hills Water and Sewer Improvements will pop up. You'll be able to click on that web link and it, it'll take you to the project page. To get project updates, you can scroll down to the bottom of that project page and click on subscribe to this page. Um, so when you subscribe to the page, any updates that are posted, it'll notify you through email. Um, the link to and the PDF to this PowerPoint will be linked to that project page as well. So how do I report an emergency or non-emergency? Emergencies can be reported to 817-392-4477, and you can select option one if it's outside of the um, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and that's to report any water main breaks or sewer backups. We also have a call center for non-emergencies um, open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday, and that number is 817-392-4477. So it's the same number, but when there's an emergency, you'll be able to select option one. Um, we also have a city website, the MyFW app, that's available on both the App Store and Google Play. On that application, they allow you to report any sewer overflows, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, theft of water, vial, water violations, lack of water service, any water pressure issues you're experiencing or other sewer concerns. Again, here's my contact information. Um, my name is Brenda Oropesa. My phone number is 817 392-8271, and my email address is Brenda, period, Oropesa, O-R-O-P-E-Z-A, at fourthwardtexas.gov, all spelled out, and um, our engineering design consultant on this project is Dowtech. All right, thank you, and with that, I'll hand it over to Sally um, for any questions that were posted on the chat during the presentation. Okay, we had a lot of questions. Uh, the first one, I went ahead and answered it in chat, but the question is, can we receive a copy of this PowerPoint presentation? The answer is yes, you can log in to that project page. Can you go back to that slide, Brenda? Yes. Um, if you go back to the, okay, right there. Um, it's gonna say, type in 103619, the page pops up. It'll be down the bottom right-hand corner. I think the um, heading is related information. So we will have a YouTube video of this meeting we'll have a PDF of the PowerPoint. So if you don't want to listen to it again, but you want to look at the, power, at the PowerPoint, you can do that too. Thank you, uh, Tobin. Uh, Laura wants to know, you were talking about the water turn off. Oh, will, not, will our water be turned off? And you said the contractor will knock on the door. Laura said a knock on the door won't do it. I'm not home during the days and my housemate can't get to the door fast. Can we arrange for a text notification? Okay, that's something I can um, check once we have a, an inspector on board as well. I'll check with him to um, see if that's something he can do. But we also do door hangers 24 hours ahead of time um, to let everyone know that they're going to be turning off the water the next day. Okay, and then they asked for the link to the project page. We've got that already taken care of. Um, Laura asked, how will they access the sewer in the rear easement of the homes? And will they be removing fences to do that? So we're proposing to do pipe enlargement. It's a trenchless method. Um, so there's manholes already out there or they'll be kind of accessing it through those manholes. Um, but if they need access to your backyard to be able to to access that manhole, they'll um, be knocking on doors to be able to gain access back there. But it will be a trenchless method, so it's the least invasive method we have. They'll um, 
they will have to kind of dig up your individual service to reconnect you to that sewer line. Um, so they will be contacting you to make those reconnections as well. So they will be um, knocking on doors to do that. Okay, that's all we have in chat. Does anyone else have questions? Uh, David, do you have one? Let me let me unmute you. Just... No. Okay, no questions. Okay, Don Harden. No questions from Don? Okay. Our, our early birds were Laura, and I apologize if I mispronounce it, Rude. All right. Um, once the contractor is selected, will, will we be advised of when the construction will start, will start work? Yes, once we have a contractor on board, we will be having another um, public meeting. It'll be in person. Okay. Um, we'll have the contractor and the inspector and the consultant all out there. We'll bring a set of plans so you could specifically see your property if you're interested in um, seeing that. And any questions you may have, we'll be able to get answers from them as well. Okay, good. Okay, uh, Laura says she has no questions. Um, Linda, you were another early bird. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we've got Paula Douglas Andrews. No questions, Paul? Okay, and Tobin, did you have any more? No, oh, thank you guys. No more questions. I appreciate all the info. Now, we had a couple of call in users, so if you have any questions, go ahead and send them to us now. Okay. Um, this is Thursday, right? The um, the video link and the PowerPoint should be up on the page no later than Monday. So make sure you go back and um, all you got to do is put 103619 in the search bar at the top of the um, first page. Can of the you hear me now? Yes. All right. I have a question. When the water Good. is turned off, how long will it be turned off? Approximately 30 minutes, just long enough for them to be able to connect you to the new line and transfer you from the old line to the new line. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad at all. Okay. And if you guys want to write down Brenda's contact information, if you have any questions, you can call her. Like I said, we will reach out to you um, once we have a contractor on board and we'll set up another meeting. Generally, those are in-person meetings, but that's up to the um, your council member. So. We might be seeing face to face with you in a couple of months. All right, that'll be good. Uh, the estimated start date you said, I think, was October. Uh, we plan to bid the project in late October, so construction probably will not be starting till um, early next year. Okay, that's what I was concerned about as well for the holiday situation. Yeah, it'll be after Christmas time. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, Laura has another question later. If they know, well, hang on, Laura. It just disappeared. Okay, later, if they know about impacts to sprinkler systems, it would be good to know provisions for that. Can you explain that? Yes, yeah, so we um, do have a pay item for the contractor to go out there and locate those irrigation systems and cap them before they start construction. Um, so they'll go out there, cap the systems, ask you to turn them on to make sure they're not damaging anything. Anything they damage, they will be responsible for repairing. Okay. You guys were a great group tonight. We appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Tobin. You had a lot of questions too. Uh, thank you and make sure you check that page on Monday. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.